Welcome, welcome to the month of Tishrei. I am so excited to share with you guys what's been on my heart, what Holy Spirit has impressed upon my heart for this month. This is such an exciting month that I feel we're stepping into. So for the last couple of months, I felt such a strong alignment with heaven and to come into a season, to come into a time of God's alignment. And even though I didn't exactly know what that entailed or what I needed to do, something that's so important with our anointing oils that God shares with us is that it's something so tangible and we can smell it we can touch it we can have part of it and it brings our physical realm into this realm of God's supernatural where we say God I don't exactly know how to do this thing but I am anointing myself with this oil as an act of faith to step into your appointment appointed time into alignment with you so these anointing oils are something so simple almost that God's given us but so tangible for us just to take a step of faith so with the month of Tishrei it's the first month of the Jewish calendar where they um, celebrate the one of the feasts of Rosh Hashanah ahead of the year but it's also the seventh month of the religious calendar so we're going to look at these two facets for this month and the first one speaks of the new the number one the blessing coming into the blessings of God and so often we choose to walk in unbelief that God actually want to bless us that he has our best interest in at heart and in our unbelief we end up not taking the goodness of God in our lives and sometimes we don't even know how to take the blessings and how to take the goodness of God so in this month we have to come into alignment with the goodness of God we have to come into alignment with the one um we're also stepping this is the first month we're stepping into five seven eight one another first and one in the Hebrew um means unity but it also means the ox the pictogram of the ox which means strength so God wants us to come into the strength of his power the strength of his blessing the strength of who his majesty and authority is in our own lives and the only way we can do that is by choosing to step out of our past by choosing to step into our future and knowing what this amazing blessing is that God has for us. So much of these things in the world is capturing our attention. Um, natural disasters, the COVID that just hit us. Um, all these things are capturing our attention and God just says stop wait a moment I have more for you but the only way we can receive the more of God is if we let go it's like if you receive a gift you cannot receive another gift if you do not let go or open up so God wants you to open up your hands so that he can place something new in your hands for this season the second part of this month is the seven and this speaks of redemption and it also speaks of completeness and Jesus died on the cross Jesus Christ died on the cross for us the work that he has accomplished on the cross is completed it cannot be more completed than what it has has been done already for you so in this time it is completely completed our redemption is completely complete we win ultimately we win we walk in places of victory we walk out of victory into our destiny we don't walk out of victim mentality victim spirit abuse 
hurt, pain, trauma, all those things. God wants to bring healing to you. He wants to touch you and rejuvenate us. I think this whole year I just keep on hearing the word strength. God wants to strengthen us in this time and season where we've been so run down by everything that's taken place. So with that being said, I created this oil that I felt in my spirit that God wanted to release to us. And um, it is called divine nature. And it brings me to the scripture of um, Colossians 2, 9 to 10. And it says, for the full content of of divine nature lives in Christ, in his humanity. And you, you have been given full access to life in union with him. He is supreme. Yeshua, Jesus Christ is supreme over every spiritual ruler and authority. He has all authority, all power. And he says, I have everything. It's mine. He has it. Through the cross, John 17, he prays and he says, Father, you have given me all glory. And then he says, I want to give them the glory that you have given me. So Christ inside of us is all power, all strength, all authority, inside and you have access to that but our unbelief and our hurt pain trauma our victim mentality we stop from choosing that all and then that fear pulls us out of union with Christ out of that union he says I've come to give you life in union one with me Don't you find that amazing? And then scripture says we have become partakers, partakers of his full divine nature. So what does that mean for us? To believe in the resurrection of Christ, but not believe in the union is only half of it. To Believe in the resurrection of Christ, but not take the blessing from God, the identity from God, the inheritance that we have is only half of what we're living. Yes, it gets us into heaven. Great, brilliant. But the, we don't stop at the cross. We have to move beyond the cross to the greatness that God has for us. To be a partaker means to receive Jesus Christ inside of you. That that's inside of you. It means to embrace the mirror image of who he is inside of us. He's big. He's resourceful. He's powerful. He's strong. He's kind. He's loving. He's I am. Everything that I am needs you need from him is already inside of you. We have to access that to live from the inside out. To become a partaker of his divine nature means face-to-face intimacy. He gave us, Jesus Christ gave us the door to walk through, to become so close, to become such union with Father and with him and with Holy Spirit. There's a door We just have to access the door. And then it says, to be a partaker means to merge our belief with his belief, our faith with his faith, and then expanding it and dreaming of this big kingdom that we're building for a God that is so amazing. So in this oil, how do we prophesy over ourselves how do we take this oil of anointing and act upon it so let me tell you guys what's in this oil the first one is acacia and acacia um, means in the image of christ it's to be anointed into the image of christ it's the hebrew word um, adze 
And it also means the last place the Jewish people camped before crossing the Jordan. It reminds us to cross over from our past through Christ into our future. So our image in Christ, he's given us a doorway to step out of our past through the door, which is Jesus Christ, into our future. Isn't that amazing? The next one is Agar wood, and it means the anointing for maturity and obedience. So this is a powerful anointing to have. This speaks of Jesus Christ coming into his maturity to fulfill his ministry, his earthly ministry. So he had to work and train and study. And for 30 years, he stepped into places of maturity. It's preparation to step into our ministry. It's preparation to step into our mantle. So once we discover our identity in Christ, we can mature in that identity and then step into the mantle that God has for us. Then it's it has henna oil in it and henna represents the covering of the blood of Christ. If we understand the full power of the blood, then we can actually manifest the full power of the blood. It's not just to cover, it's to heal, it's to restore. It must change our DNA into the DNA of Christ. We have to become so in union with him that the very likeness of who he is becomes uh, who we are. Jesus Christ said, if you've seen me, you've seen my father. So he came to portray to us that we can step into the full axis, the mirror image of the likeness of God. We have that access to become the full mirror image, not half an image, a full image of who Christ is inside. And then we reveal the Father to those around us. It has coriander in it and coriander's anointing for the word of God and revelation. It's so important for us to understand that scripture says, for one, that God has revealed his mysteries. He's hidden his mysteries for us to to be um, explored and revealed and find revelation in. So in the I wrote, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So in the beginning was the Word, which means there's so much truth in that we have to discover our truth through the Word, through Jesus Christ, that was in the beginning of creation, at the very beginning. We were created in the beginning, so it means we were created in truth. We have to discover that truth for ourselves. So it's like going on a treasure hunt and opening up all these treasures that's inside of us. And the more we open it up, the more we become, the closer we become, the more in union we become. So let us prophesy this. Let's put all of this anointing together. So as we anoint ourselves, and you just allow Holy Spirit to lead you in whichever way you feel you need to anoint yourself, whether you put it on your head, on your hands, under your feet, you allow Holy Spirit to lead you on your heart. So we just prophesy over ourselves that I step under the covering of the blood of Christ into his very DNA, which is the truth of the word that was in the beginning. Let this truth of the word rise up inside of me, changing my very DNA into the DNA of Jesus Christ. I choose to step into the image of Christ as I cross over from my past through Christ into my future. I will rise, yes, I will rise into maturity to take up my mantle calling and I will become a mover and a shaker in the kingdom of God. Guys, this is the time for us to rise up as children of God. 
This is the time to come into intimacy with God. This is the time to come so close that when you see His face, you see yourself. He wants to bless us with His very heart, with a heartbeat that beats just for you. Thank you for taking this time to listen to this. I ask that you guys go over to unveiledessence.com and go and purchase this amazing anointing oil. Let us anoint ourselves in this time, in this season, where we become partakers of who Christ is inside of us. I bless you guys in this season with heavenly blessings that every seed that you have would be from above and that you would grow and move and shake to become the and to partake of the divine nature of who Christ is inside of us. As a bride, let us rise up and meet our groom. Bless you guys. Have an amazing month.